Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, um, basically I react to and give a bit of an analysis of different metal songs and videos from a musician and songwriting standpoint, and as well as a, you know, just metal fan in general. Um, and this will be the fourth video that I've done in a row, I'm just trying to smash out a whole bunch of videos today, so this will be the fourth of the, so if you go to my uploads and my channel, there should be like four that are all wearing the same shirt because I'm just done a whole bunch of four. Um, and did I leave the best till last? Maybe. Um, maybe I was just really keen and wanted to leave it to the end because the best. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, In Human Condition have a new song. This is the first single from the new album. And bro, I obviously, if you've been following the channel, you know I love these guys. They were number two. On, I think I was number two on my um, top 20 basically best albums of 2021. They were number two, so you know, up there, and they already got another album coming out the following year. So that's, you know, these boys put in the work and they, they kill it, man. Like, that's, um, I'm not expecting anything, you know, anything less quality just because they've done an album two years in a row. You know, I'm expecting good stuff because they're just really awesome and. If this is your first taste, or this is your first ever time seeing in human condition, I I kind of envy you because it means you get to go back and listen to the full album again for the first time. So anyway, let's check this out for the first time and I'm ready to rock. All right, in human condition, recycled hate. Um, before I go ahead and press play, chuck that subscribe button a tap. Chuck it, it makes no sense. Anyway, just just, just subscribe because it would help me out. And um, you won't miss any other Inhuman Condition videos if they release more singles because I'm going to react to them. I love them. Anyway, let's go. 3 minutes 26, it's going to be a banger. I already know it. Well, I don't really know it, but I do because it's Inhuman Condition. I'm talking too much. Let's just headbang. Literally how I... <laughs> that's li <laughs> Jamie. That's literally how I... That's, that's how I am in the car when I'm listening to... <laughs> that's, that's how I am when I listen to this, these guys. In the car at red lights and people roll down the windows. Like, what, what is this guy doing? And I'm just headbanging there. Good song. Good... I mean, good... S My brain, sorry. And I said, I'm still sick. But, um... But let's just go again. Oh, do do do. That's I love I love that's like kind of their signature. They really put these like signature tri not tri tones like try like do do like up and down kind of riffs in their music. I'm just gonna I should stop talking. You're probably sick of me. Classic tremolo riff. Oh man, that first riff was, it hit me hard, man. Good stuff. Let's keep going. I just realised in the back. I think it's Jamie on drums too. I'm pretty sure he he does the vocals and the drums. Um, and maybe they filmed it like they they edited him in, so all four members. Kind of thing. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's him. <laughs> but <laughs> just look at him headbanging, it's just, f uh, it's funny. I wonder if that's been sped up, that's hilarious. That's literally how I look in the car, headbanging, probably. Maybe that's why people laugh. Actually, I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to them. I'm paying attention to these sexy-ass riffs. Sick transition back to that verse riff. Oh, I can't get enough of that verse riff. Sorry, what's talking about that guitar? I'm wondering if it was there's a green bit on the guitar and the green screen didn't pick it up or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, super cool. Um, yeah, this transition back to the verse riff is sick. Still sick, so it's gone to my sinuses. Let me prepare so I can just headbang for this last section. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was. Yeah, that was nothing less than I thought it would be. I'm gonna leave it on him giving us the fingers. <laughs> Yeah, that was, somehow that was better than I thought it would be, because my expectation was like here, and the song was like here, <laughs> so, oh, that riff was sick, they are just, like, they are one of my favourite bands at the moment, because they just do what they do so well, this old school thrash, deaf, just like groovy riffs, catchy, like it's simple ideas, but it's done well, Production is on top as usual, great tones, great, um, you know, good good concepts as well, Recycled Hate. Um, I think, you know, talking about a lot of things in history, like, you know, you, you hear the quote said all the time, what do they say, um, 
you shouldn't look back unless it's to learn from your mistakes or something. You know, like you don't want to get stuck in, the, in in history or stuck in your past, which is true. And we should only be looking at our past to learn. And basically what I'm getting from this, you know, this concept, this theme, this, this song, is that the hate that's, you know, keeps recycling. And I'm, I'm not sure if this was potentially... Um, I'm, I'm guessing it would have been written before that happened, but, you know, it still fits the overall theme, is the, you know, current kind of situation with Ukraine and Russia. Because, you know, end of the day, is, have we really learned from World War One, World War Two? Have we really learned from the hate and the destruction and the deaths and all the massacre and all that stuff that happened back in the day? Or are we just really just, are we just replaying past events? Are we just replaying past political hatred, past, you know, hidden agendas? Um, that's pretty much what Recycled Hate is, and, um, yeah, no, good song, good concept, great stuff from my lads in Inhuman Condition, I'm going to go pre-order the album as soon as it comes out, because I just, it's going to be a banger, I know that, I don't even need to, like, I would have pre-ordered it without hearing this song, but after hearing this song, I am keen, um, and, uh, you know, Dan Goldsworthy, who also does the Aelstorm artwork, um, did the album artwork again, and it's awesome, and I love it. And I'm probably going to get a shirt or a... I don't know if I have a flag or a banner to chuck in my room. Um, it's just... I love his artwork. It's awesome. The last album cover was sick. This new one is just as sick. Um, yeah. I've got nothing but love for these guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Keen for the album. And thanks for listening. If you uh, loved it too, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, if you didn't love it, then you need to get hearing aids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.